What's up guys, it's Techie Chris here. I am a network engineer with a passion for all things related to technology. As many of you guys can tell, this is not my normal setup. I am currently in a hotel because the company I work for is doing some work on a remote site. So this week I've currently been in office handling a lot of the network engineering tasks with the infrastructure and the hardware replacements. So that is why you see me in a hotel because I've been back and forth between this remote site. But if you're watching this video, it's probably because you are wondering if the CCNA is enough to get a job as a network engineer. Let's put it into perspective. You just got your CCNA. Now what? Are you guaranteed a job? The short answer for this question is sometimes. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. In this video, my goal is to kind of break down whether or whether or not the CCNA is enough to break into the field of network engineering. And so before I even get started, I kind of want to break down what the CCNA actually is. The CCNA is a networking certification that pretty much covers the fundamentals about networking concepts in the Cisco environment. It covers many of the main topics that you need to basically understand how to configure network devices in a Cisco environment. It covers things like routing and switching, it covers VLANs, it covers IP addressing. It also even even covers things like automation. In the field of network engineering, it is pretty much a standard to have a CCNA. It is a very respected certification in the industry. A lot of employers still require you to have a CCNA, even if you're not working in a Cisco environment. So let's get down to the truth the nitty gritty about if CCNA is enough to land you that network engineering position. So pretty much, yes, the CCNA can land you that job that you're looking for, but only sometimes. CCNA is a great certification to kick off your networking career, but if you come into an environment with only a CCNA and you say that you wanna be a network engineer, they might look at you and laugh. The reason for this is because network engineers actually spend a lot of time learning how to manage networks in a live environment. Having a CCNA gives you great knowledge behind what happens with networking, but having just a CCNA won't give you that knowledge of how to fix something when it's 3 a.m. during a maintenance window, something is broken, and the whole network depends on you to bring it back up before business operations start again. Though it is possible to get that network engineering position with just a CCNA and also some labbing, some positions that will be easier for you to get with just a CCNA are things like a knock technician, things like IT support with a networking focus. Also working as a network technician is another great way to get in the field of networking with just your CCNA. Network admin positions also usually are lighter when it comes to the requirements of experience and a CCNA can oftentimes get you into that network admin position. It also really depends on your location. If you are in a city where network engineer demand is very high and also a big thing is how you market yourself if you go in and tell the recruiter yeah i just have a ccna with no experience and i've never worked in a live environment they're going to look at you crazy but if you tell them that you have a ccna and you have done xyz projects have set up this home lab you're on social media teaching ccna concepts to people they may look at you a little bit different rather than someone who just has the ccna certificate and has never done anything else a day in their life. You need to make sure that your resume looks great and you need to make sure that you are marketing yourself like a network engineer. CCNA is gonna be that ticket in the door, but it's not going to be the key of the city that's gonna open up every single door for you. You also have to put in the personal work yourself to achieve those roles that you're looking for. When I first got my CCNA, I was able to move into a network engineering role pretty easily. And the reason for that was because I was doing a lot of labbing. I also had experience working in lower tier positions like work in the IT help desk and also working as a network administrator. CCNA is still definitely worth it because without the CCNA and had I had just done that IT help desk position, I don't think I would have got the position that I am in now without my CCNA. But that wasn't the case because I did have my CCNA, so I can't really speak too much on what would have happened if I didn't have my CCNA. But if you're trying to break into network engineering and you want to really know what employers are looking for, I'm going to list a couple things that I believe employers are always looking for when it comes to hiring those network engineers. To be frank with you, having the certifications is honestly just one part of the process of hiring and becoming a network engineer. You need to have that hands-on experience, whether it be working in a NOC, like I said, working as a network technician, a network admin, IT help desk, and digging into those network protocols sometimes, or even just having set up a home lab. Like I said earlier in this video, that is what employers are looking for. And apart from the technical skills, you really need to have the soft skills down. You need to be able to speak and speak very effectively. You need to be very articulate in how you talk to your coworkers, how you talk to recruiters, and how you talk about things that happen on a network. Users can ask you about why their phone is acting weird and you start talking about QoS, bandwidth, and jitter. You need to have those social cues and those communication skills in general just to dumb things down to help the end users understand you. This is where soft skills come into play a lot. 
Having your CCNA plus these traits along with your CCNA is what is going to set you apart and help you get that job. Like I said, when you're talking to that recruiter, don't just tell them that I have a CCNA. Talk to them about protocols. Talk to them how you have solved an issue. Talk to them about how everything depended on you to fix something and you fixed it. Recruiters love knowing that you are able to troubleshoot. Being able to troubleshoot stuff on a middle school level will show that you have the ability to troubleshoot stuff on a network engineering level. So with all that being said, I'm just going to tell you the four things that I recommend you should do along with having a CCNA. Number one, home lab experience. Make a physical lab or get something in Packet Tracer, GNS3, EVNG, or any other network emulators slash simulators. Number two, make a personal website. If you guys go to my website, www.techiekurtz.com, you will see my website and see how I market myself as a network engineer. Having a personal website will help recruiters see that you are a serious person and also see that you are actually trying to make it into this field. Number three, make sure that you guys are working on your soft skills and doing a lot of interview prep. Soft skills are what are going to make you in this field. Being able to talk about your ideas efficiently and effectively are going to set you apart from a lot of other people who are just technically savvy and don't really know how to communicate their ideas. Yeah, guys, so that's kind of my short take on if I believe CCNA is enough to get a network engineering job. Like I said, sometimes it can't be, sometimes it can't be. I know people who don't have a CCNA who are working in high level network engineering positions and have so much experience. The CCNA at this point in their career wouldn't even do them as much benefit as say something like a CCNP would. But then I've heard stories of people who have CCNA, CCNP, and all these other high level certifications and they are struggling to get a job because they have all of the theory and the book knowledge down but they have never worked in a real environment and don't know anything about actual work in a real networking environment. What's up guys? So as I was editing my video, I realized the last portion of my video got cut off. So I just wanted to come here and end off the video for you guys. Um, that's pretty much my take on if the CCNA is enough to become a network engineer and pretty much if the CCNA is still even worth it overall. So I really appreciate you guys for watching and staying to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed this video, just make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I post many videos talking about network engineering and pretty much just tech in general. So all of you guys are welcome to join my community here on YouTube. But yeah, guys, that is it for this video and I'm out of here.